So his first teacher was Sakagawa, Sakagawa um, Teryu, who was uh, Tote or Todi Sakagawa. He was the guy who made up the term Todi, um, or at least the guy who started uh, using it and getting known by that. Um, Matsumura was 14 years old when he started training with him, and uh, it was four years after that that uh, Sakagawa died. So eight, uh, basically four years that he trained with Sakagawa. Um, and then Sakagawa's student, Makabe uh, Choken, uh, also helped to teach Matsumura at that time as well, because obviously Sakagawa was kind of elderly at the time. Uh, he died at 82, so he was 78 when he started teaching Matsumura. Then the bulk of um, Matsumura's training actually happened either in China or under Chinese teachers in Okinawa. So Aesan and Iwai uh, were both military attaches that visited Okinawa as part of these Chinese missions that uh, visited and got some updates every once in a while. Wai Shinzan was another um, military attache. Um, Wai Shinzan taught a lot of the Okinawan masters and um, Basically, he seemed to be pretty active both in Okinawa and then uh, other people would go and visit him in China. And then the last one is an interesting uh, person, Chinto slash Anan. My theory, as outlined in my hopefully forthcoming, I haven't heard yet, uh, book, uh, is that that's the same person because the stories about the two of them are both pretty much the same. Shipwrecked uh, Chinese pirate that was living in Tumari. Um, basically was stealing food and stuff like that. Matsumura got sent to arrest him, couldn't, and uh, said, hey, will you teach me? So that's the story behind uh, Chinto or Anan. The other thing that Matsumura trained in was uh, Jigen Ryu, which was classical uh, Japanese swordsmanship in Satsuma, which was, if you remember, the province that um, took over Okinawa in uh, 1609. Satsuma invasion, right? Um, they were sort of half ruling, uh, China was half ruling Okinawa, and Japan was half ruling Okinawa at the same time. Uh, Ata that are associated with Matsumura include Seisan, Chinto, Pasai, Naihanchi, Rohai, and Useishi, or Gojushiho, and possibly also um, Pinan Shodan, or Handi then. Um, it's not known whether those kata were actually sourced from China, if they were exactly taught to him that way when he brought them into Okinawa, or if he sort of formulated them himself based on, um, based on what he'd learned. But Weapons that he used that have kata and stuff associated with him, bow, sai, iku, and of course sword, because he learned um, Jigen Ryu. Um, basically that's the, the influence of Matsumura. So you can see pretty significant stuff when we're talking about a guy who lived in the 1800s, right? Quite a bit of his material survived to this day. I'm going to talk about why in the next couple of weeks as well.